guys, I'm Megan Graham, and I thought I would come on today and answer some of your questions from my YouTube. Um, I have little Poppy with me. She's on my lap, and I'm gonna brush her um, as I'm usually doing something while I'm talking. Um, so I've been getting a lot of questions, and for those of you that don't know, I have not had a ton of energy lately. Um, so I haven't done any of my story time lives. Um, but I figured I would come on here and just read some of the questions and answer them. Um, I know that I make pretty quick um, answers sometimes on um, online, so I just wanted to answer them. So my first one says, I just found your channel and I absolutely love it. I grew up with three Yorkies. My last Yorkie, Macy, actually moved with me to graduate school last year she just passed away last month watching her videos is really helping me deal with the loss thank you for all that you share mariah that's such a nice comment thank you so much i know it's not a question but i totally get it as i lost my yorkie a few years ago um, and i know it's really really hard um, this one is on my olaplex number three video and um, faded spice um, has a pretty rude <laughs> they have a pretty rude thing um, so they said you're supposed to use it before so they're yelling with the before Use shampoo, dude, says it right in the bottle. Um, you can use Olaplex 3 in different ways, but um, many times if your hair, like my hair is very, very long and thick and curly, so I usually wash my hair before I use Olaplex because by the time I wash my hair, it's so dirty that a lot of times um, I might just do like a quick wash. So they probably haven't seen the um, what's on the website. And just for the record, if you do write on my YouTube like this, I am gonna block you because I don't have time for rude people in real life or on the internet, so keep it nice or you're getting blocked, so fade and spice. Um, I'll block you after I'm not on here. Anyway, um, this one says dog hair robot vacuum. Uh, that's what it's on and it says, thank you for your review, Megan. I'm looking forward to your next Yorkie story time and of course also, to your day in the life of a Yorkie. I love those videos. I will be making another one of those soon. They're a little labor intensive because I have to slice a lot of footage together, so I haven't done one lately, but um, I did wanna get on here and just talk to you guys a little bit. This was just an easy way for me to do it, and I'm being really easy on my body and not doing anything that takes up too much energy because I have to save that for my in-person work. Um, but so nice guy for saying that it says your videos are always so fun to watch and informative. That is really, really nice. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, <laughs> so funny. Uh, Dustin Sherry commented and said video was super helpful. This is on my house training for Yorkies video. Um, he said, it's funny how more than once I say, do me a favor, don't get a dog. Um, and I definitely say that to people that, you know, are not going to have patience for a dog or are not going to understand that when they're house training, their dog is going to have accidents. It's just the nature of Yorkshire Terriers. Um, somebody commented on my, how my, how I met my husband video. They said adorable. Um, Someone is very, Joan commented on the fact, so on my how to transition to gray hair from dyed, um, I think she asked me a, a kind of in-depth question and I told her that if she wanted to have a consult with me, it uh, would be $200. That's the price for my, my consults. Uh, I live in a major city and things are expensive. Anyway, she said, wow, so she's really shocked. I do think that a lot of times um, on my beauty videos and things, it's one thing if someone has a simple question, but if someone has you know something that's gonna be a half hour reply, I always let them know that that would be a consultation because at the end of the day, this is what I do. So um, yeah, it's not free. If you need a lot of my time, I've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, just seeing if there are, some of these things are not really questions, they're comments, which is super nice as well. I love how thoughtful people are about getting dogs and how much they're planning, that's so nice. Um, this person's got, let's see, they're definitely thinking about it. Um, she is bringing home a Yorkie on August 21st. She's, it says she's currently five weeks old, so not old enough to leave her mom and the breeder as yet. I'm a first time pet parent, congratulations. Um, therefore, I will be implementing your techniques as much as puppy will allow. That being said, you briefly mentioned wee wee pads are not a good idea for carpet. Well, my entire home is wall to wall carpeting, except of course, bathrooms and kitchens. What do you suggest for the carpeted areas? My bathrooms are quite small, so putting a toileting area in either one of them is not an option. Um, 
honestly, I wish that I had an answer for you, but I, I will be really honest. And this person's name, Showstopper Dread, um, Gaia, I think is, or Gaia, I can't really tell. But anyway, um, thank you for your question. Honestly, I can't really help you there because I just wouldn't ever have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting for a lot of different reasons. One, picks up a lot of dust and allergens, so I could never, I have all hardwoods. Um, but two, I just think it's gonna be really honestly hard to, to train a Yorkie with wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. If anybody has any ideas, feel free to comment, but I just, I feel like it's gonna be disastrous to have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. That's my honest to God opinion. Um, and this person's asking about how I would, so Sunday's Solace says that they have a five month old party Yorkshire Terrier and they're wondering what I would recommend for tear stains. Honestly, I don't really deal with tear stains because I have Yorkies that are not party Yorkies. So they, um, you can't really see any tear stains or anything like that. Um, I don't really know, but I would look for something without fragrance um, that is natural if you can find it. Um, this person said something about, they, they commented on my washing hair every day. Um, video and it says you should look for a fast hair growth fortified shampoo. Um, I don't know if they were talking to me, but I don't think I need my hair to grow anymore. It's so long. So must not have been for me. I'm not sure what that was about. Um, and I think those are, those are really the, the main questions that I have on my video. Um, so I, I just decided not to do a Yorkie story time. Sometimes they're just really tiring because the, you know, I try to answer the questions, but I don't want to ignore questions. And as I'm just, I'm taking Poppy's little elastic out here. It doesn't want to come out. Um, so as I'm answering the questions, I feel like there's more questions pouring in. Um, and anyway, I've just been, you know, taking good care of myself, but my energy levels have been really low. I've just been dealing with my autoimmune stuff and it's funny, I think um, if people haven't, I'm just looking for my comb, if people haven't ever dealt with anything autoimmune, I think that they're, they're like, I hope you get better soon, or are you feeling better now? I think it's, I'm definitely healing, but I think it's a much, much longer term thing than most people know. Um, and I think lately I've just really been making it my priority because don't mind me as I look at Poppy. I could have probably tilted my camera down. I'm sure everybody would rather see her than me. Um, but I, I've been making it my priority because for so, so long, I kept sort of saying, well, I'm just gonna do this and I have to do that. And I was putting my self-care in as a very, you know, it was kind of like, oh, I'll get to that later. And I was really burning the candle at both ends because I, I have my own beauty salon that I own in Boston and um, which I should mention, by the way, I think somebody from YouTube stopped by my salon. Um, and I just wanted to say that I don't take visits from people. I'm, you know, I love that everybody's on here and I love that people are commenting. Um, I don't even take visits from friends and family when I'm at work because I, it's a really serious job and I charge people a lot of money and I'm pretty much busy every minute of the day. So while I appreciate what somebody was trying to do, they actually tried to stop by my salon when I was working. Um, but I really, not only do I not encourage that, but I would definitely turn anyone away that did that. Um, my mom always said that you shouldn't show up somewhere unannounced and I, I really firmly believe that. Um, as much as I enjoy making videos and things, it's um, more of my hobby and my actual business is what, you know, it's what I live on. Um, and so anyway, um, just wanted to just clarify, I, no one's ever done that before, um, but I don't also see people that are strangers to me. So just wanted to point that out, that it is not a good idea to stop by my business. Um, I think sometimes with YouTube, there's, there can be, and I don't feel this from most people, but there can be a certain amount of almost like expectation um, because you're reachable and because people sort of know where you are, they feel like it's okay. Like, you know, I had someone that was on the other week and they got really angry that I hadn't responded to their question. But, you know, first of all, it's a, it's a how do I say it? It's something I, that I do to be helpful but it's not an obligation that I have. Um, I was on the couch f not feeling well for a solid like 10 days. I got up a little bit and took some walks. I wasn't sick. 
um, but I wasn't well either. Um, and I just want to say like, and I know most people do appreciate, um, appreciate that and are sensitive to that, but just remember that regardless of how someone looks or the energy that you see that they have and things like that, they probably have other things going on than, um, you know, more, more than you know, if you will. So just wanted to say that just to please be understanding that I always try to get content out and things, but, um, I'm just really trying to be gentle with myself right now. Cause I only have so much energy for every week. And, um, I, it's just been lower lately. So anyway, um, in other news, I don't have an assistant right now. The person that I hired didn't work out, um, which is okay, but I've been super, super busy because I don't have anyone helping me right now. So I'm looking forward to when I find a new person and I hope that they work out in the long term. But I, I think that there's never been as great of a person as I had when I had Skylar. Um, and I don't know if there will ever be anyone that's that amazing because she was, I think she was like a once in a lifetime amazing kind of person. Oh my goodness, Poppy. Let's just show everybody how beautiful you look. She's, she's so pretty. Look at that face. What a good girl. So poor little Poppy. We got stuck in a really bad rainstorm yesterday in, in Boston. And Poppy is really afraid of thunder. And fortunately, I got her inside about five minutes before the loudest clap of thunder I have ever heard. Um, so I'm just glad that I got her inside, got her to safety. Everybody else was fine. I kind of put like Lola and Alfie in my arms and I actually, so I live right near the park. I didn't even want to run underneath the trees because I was afraid that maybe one of the trees was going to come down. I've never, I, that I can remember, I've never been caught outside in a storm like that. I think I'm just so dedicated to go on all of my walks these days. Um, that I didn't even really think of the possibility that it could storm like that. So those are, those are the main things that are going on. I've just been super easy on myself. I am posting another video that I just made and it's actually telling about my experience when I got sick with mold. I think it's something that I allude to a lot. Um, and it's one of these things like where time and time again, people are like, Oh, are you all better now? And <laughs> It's, I think that a lot of people think that once you're out of the mold, you just instantly get better. But for people that actually become ill from it, it's usually a pretty long, it, it can be like, hopefully not a lifelong thing, but probably kind of a lifelong thing um, where you're really just working to get better. Um, I'm not sure because this is the first time I ever had it happen in my life. And I like to think that I will get back to myself, but it is a really long-term thing. So Anyway, just dealing with that, um, all the animals are doing well. The cat is sleeping behind the camera in his chair. And Lola, do you want to get brushed? Come on, Lols. Hi, Lols. Poppy's looking beautiful. She looks so good. Let's see if I can get Lola. Lola, you want to come and get brushed? Come here, Lols. Okay, it looks like I'm going to take this guy who's right behind me. Well, it's always nice to chat with you guys. There's not tons of questions this week. I think last week I actually got on and answered a ton of questions. Um, but it's always nice to chat with you guys. The weather is beautiful in Boston. I feel like the summer is going by so, so, so fast. Um, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be fall before we know it, right? Anyway, nice to chat with you guys and I will see you guys again soon. Stay healthy and stay beautiful.